they hear me or they don't hear me. They see me come in and they're all gonna run to the fence. Oh, oh. Then we got Gamora here. Hey girl, how you doing? Coming down with me? Oh, man. You guys really hungry or what? This is why it's probably not a good reason to have this feed shed here. They think they can just come in here and try to get food. No, get out. Little brown, no. Oh. I had to get them all in this pen, which is difficult because if you fed goats, you know that they just attack the crap out of you. So I tricked them, I had an empty five gallon pail. I threw it in there for them to think that I was feeding them. Um, we gotta get these guys in here. So we need to separate the cow from the calves. Uh, so Mr. Bubbles can get ready to go to butcher. Uh, what our main focus is today to get him to stay in here. Get that one, that one, and that one, and this guy out of here so we can get him loaded up in the corral situation we made for him and feed him in the livestock trailer so he gets used to it. Uh, we'll see how it goes because he gets pretty upset when he doesn't have any friends with him. So that's Mr. Bubbles. He goes, or Mr. Bubbles the second, he goes to butcher uh, Monday. Man, you got flies everywhere, bud. Why you hang out in the wet spot? What's going on? He's not very friendly, but these guys are. Sort of. They'll get there. How much do you guys think? How much do you think that he will weigh? He is pretty small, actually. He did not get as big as Mr. Bubbles. He did not get as big as Mr. Bubbles, the original, but we shall see. I literally locked all the goats into their pen and one, two, three, four, five of them escaped and went to the cow pasture. Mr. Bubbles is unhappy because we haven't fed him yet. Come on, Bubbles! I don't know why I think that's gonna work for a cow. Just trying to get actually that guy. That guy and that guy and that black and white guy. <laughs> Gotta get some corn in a pail, I guess. We don't want him going around this fence this way. We want those guys, but they're going the wrong way. Oh man. Mr. Bubbles, seriously. See, this brown and white one's coming. That's the one that I'm gonna have, it's, uh, what's it, hide? It's hide yep. made into a rug. Oh, you guys are all going the wrong way. No, Bubbles, you are not the one that's supposed to come out. Dang it, nope, Mr. Bubbles is trying to come. Pull the gate. Uh, it's difficult. 
I think we should scare him out of here and close that. Freaking goats, are you kidding me right now? Oof. God, he is just not a nice cow. All right. Scare Mr. Bubbles out of here so we can get the cows out. Oh my god, it's so deep in mud. Poor cows. Go that way. Go that way. Alright, I'm gonna kick the goats out of here. Hey! Goats, go! Go! Get, get, get! Ready? Trying to feed them in this uh, horse trailer, yeah. I'm ready. See if Mr. Bubbles will come in here. <laughs> Mr. Bubbles just came out and now he's going back in. Stick a fly bucket in here. Yeah, I know, right? It's super fly over here. Hey, Mr. Bubbles. Hi, Bubbles. How you doing? Look the camera. Say hi. I'm going to processing. Time to go to freezer camp, right? Freezer camp. Freezer camp. He said no. He's not excited about us being here while he eats. This is like the closest I've ever been to him, so I'm excited. He says this looks like a booby trap. He's shy. Doesn't want to be filmed. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, to explain how we're getting Mr. Bubbles in our horse trailer here, which is not easy because he knows it's a trap somehow. Um, we're going in here, putting hay and feed inside every night for the last... Uh, for the last three or four nights, I think. And uh, he's been going in there to eat it, so hopefully we can get him in there one last time to lock him up. So that's the plan. All right, so to get him locked into this smaller corral area, like he just went out right now, um, we're gonna feed him. Tonight we're gonna lock him into the smaller area. And uh, tomorrow morning, probably lock him into the horse trailer if he'll go. If, if I find an easy opportunity to do it tonight, maybe I could do it tonight, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> he is gonna try to scare Mr. Bubbles in this pen. Wrong way. Let's make sure Curtis doesn't die here. Do you have a white pole? You want one? For that gate? Think it help? Yeah, you think it help? I'm saying so he'd go in it. Oh. Cause, Hold it open more. Yeah, you got one. He knows it's a booby trap. He can sense it. Cow senses. Utter tingle. Well, I guess he doesn't have udder, so I take that back. <laughs> Mr. Bubbles says, I'm out of here. Oh, come on, Buck. Don't rub on me. Come 
everybody. He really wants his corn. Come on. He says, uh oh. Are we gonna get locked in here? <laughs> oh! No. Lock him in the smaller corral. It did rain a pretty good amount today and yesterday, so his pen is extra wet, unfortunately. But there is some dry spots at least. And there he goes. Just curious if any of you guys have the same situation where loading an animal, especially a cow, is a pain in the butt when you don't have a corral, like a, what is that, like a straight line corral? A shoot, a shoot. If you don't have a shoot, um, if you had to do something similar to this, or how did you guys do it? I'm curious. Leave leave it in the comments below. It seems the door bends when Mr. Bubbles puts his weight in the back, so it's very difficult to close, but we'll see. I don't have my phone. Maybe, but it is kind of hot. You're gonna have to put water in there. Are, are you allowed to bring him to the butcher tonight to put him in a stall? Why did we bring the pigs early that one day? We brought them there on a Sunday. I don't know because I don't think it was good. Gotcha. Yeah. But you think you can shut it though? Oh, he's coming. He wants to make sure he can still get out. Make sure it's not a trap. Yeah, not a trap. He's seen Mr. Bubbles OG go out this way, so I'm sure he's a little sus. I'm trying. I know you like it. Oh. All right, my hand's tired. We're getting a really early start this morning. The camera is not picking up much light, and there's less than that from the human eye. <laughs> Got to get him started and figure out how to get this guy loaded. 
So I had to get an early start. See how it goes. Shut it. <laughs>
my god, he's trying to turn around in there. <laughs> he's trying to turn around in there. Oh. Well, we got the truck and trailer moved up top with Mr. Bubbles in it. He's not not a fan of this. He keeps trying to turn around in there. Can't see him really. We even got a rooster. <laughs> he decided he was gonna go along for the ride. We're here in front of Kenyon Meats. We're ready to take Mr. Bubbles in. Uh, they don't want us to film him unloading and all that, but finally, finally here. All in all, the trip went pretty good. Um, had a bit of trouble turning him around in the chute at the locker, but Everything went okay. It's just more motivation to sell the trailer and get an actual stock trailer. This is a horse trailer, obviously. So. Well, time to unhook and park it. That's the rooster that decided to ride with us today. He made it back. I think he's pretty excited to make it home. Obviously, um, we're gonna try the jalapeno chunk jerky. One of the best things here by far <laughs> is the chunk jerky. The mango habanero is my favorite. We're gonna try the jalapeno. Good. Okay, here's your there you Woo. go. Just taking care of you. There is all the meat. It is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen boxes, right? With all of them. Obviously, three fourths quarter cow. I'm gonna go drop off some treats at grandma's house. She wants some roast burger, so. <laughs> She's looking through the window. All right, go Shayla. Hello. You're in a video, He's just to let you know. Uh, YouTube. What? No, <laughs> no. Here, I brought you some treats. What kind of treats? What do you got? Heavy stuff. Ooh. Ooh. We got some roast, oh. some burger, oh, some corn. Can nope, I, you I, can't. Thank <laughs> you. I like it, I like it. Well, don't put me on that. Too bad. Don't put me on that. Come on, we need video content. Yeah. Well, talk to Grandpa. Yeah. Okay. That's Grandpa. How you doing, Grandpa? I'm doing fine. <laughs> you just get done eating breakfast? No, no, no. Oh, lunch? Yes, Hi 
Hi guys, this is called the cut sheet. So, under each cut, it's going to say how many packages we did. We did packages of two, so under T-bones it says seven, and it says one with one stake. So that means six packages of two, and one of them has one stake. Also, we have the porterhouse, three packages of porterhouse, nine packages of tenderloins, um, we had six chuck rows. We did a lot of ground because we eat a lot of ground meat. Um, so tacos and sloppy joes and stuff like that. The kids enjoy that sort of thing. So yeah. Um, down here at the bottom it gives you a total um, cost. Up here at the top it gives you the whole dress weight of the three quarters. So it gives you all your information. In the bottom here, it tells me how many boxes I was supposed to get. 13. It's hard to read that, but yeah. Any questions? Uh, leave some. So, how much did it cost for the cow? The total was 431. For three fourths. For three quarters. Three quarters. Processing. Yeah. Um, like I said, if there's any questions, leave them in the comment section, and, and we'll try to get to them. Thanks. Gamora. Seriously, I was trying to record and she was all up in my business. We have, what are these ribeyes? They're called rib steak. Rib steak of Mr. Bubbles the second They're cooking bone, right now. They're bone in ribeye. So we'll see how he is. He looks good already though. Mm, yeah. Got some sweet corn and jalapeno poppers on there. Oh, it's going to be so good. It goes good with our rib steak. It is. So now we're putting Lowry's seasoned salt on it. Heck yeah. Alright, so the jalapenos and the rib steak are done. They look good. Cut them up and see how it went. Today I'm going to be trying Mr. Bubbles the second. Mama, what are you watching? <laughs> oh yeah, he's good. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell.